want us to, to do something. In, in 2013. In fact, let me say 2012. 2012. Yeah, it was 2011. 2011, I was invited to one church in Nigeria. When I started to travel, I was traveling a lot to preach in Nigeria. When I was in Nigeria, one of the brothers who was close to the prophet who invited me. He had a very big church. I mean, like this. Oh, that oh, prophet oh, was, oh, the church was like this. Oh, oh, was oh, oh, this. Oh, oh, so his name is Prophet Oni. Never met a prophet Oni. So his friend oh, uh, was the one that spoke about me to Prophet Oni. Oh, prophet Oni began to Watch me. I was on Omega TV. Uh, TV In those TV, it was only Nigerians. So, it's a long time. 2011. So, I went there. But that day, when I went there, that, this man, I won't mention his name, took me to where oh, the no. prophet stays. That prophet was very good. He began to, to tell me that uh, this is, he was already blessed. He had many cars, houses. He was very blessed, that man. And he had thousands of people. My church was not so big. It was not big like that, but it's when God, it's when God was still using me, not now when... Um, when I'm old. So, when I reached there, the prophet said, man of God, I can't allow you to stay around here. People, if they know, because they are watching you, uh, they will come and disturb you. I will send you to the hotel. They say, big hotel. hotel. I said, okay, that's fine. I'm telling you my testimony. It's my testimony. Before you test, if I want to tell you my testimony. So it's fine. Okay, that's fine. So from there, that night, I called that prophet. I said, I don't want to go anywhere. I want to sleep in your house. And he said, ah, why? Why? You are different others. I said, no. I asked, where is this one going to sleep? He said, oh, this one will sleep in my house. It's my friend. I said, oh, no, I will sleep with him. So he said, you can't sleep here. You can't sleep here. I said, oh, no, I will sleep here. Okay. He said, I want to take this one to sleep in one of the houses, the back door. I said, I will go with him. I we went to sleep there. And then... Nigerians are very prayerful people. It's not like South Africa. South Africans can pray. Nigerians can pray. Nigerians can pray one word. Two hours. I'm penny. I'm penny. I'm penny. Two hours. Two hours. I'm penny. I'm penny. I'm penny. Two hours. Two hours. So South Africans, they, they can pray. So from there, when I was there, uh, that man, uh, he sit on the bed, and then he sit at the beginning of the way. I went to sit at the back. Where there's a headboard, so I was praying, he was praying. So when he finished praying, that man, because that's where you pray, but I was excited. I was trying to join him, but I was failing because my neck was not... So I had my own style of praying. So from there, he came to join me. He just tell me straight and say, Pastor, I said, what? In fact, he was calling me prophet. He said, prophet. I said, I said oh. what are you saying? Um, I, prophet I was, I was still accepting to be called prophet by then. It was, it, was a fishing. it was a fishing by our time. Like this fishing. this fishing is not a new fishing. As a fashion, a fashion, I mean, even myself, we had a fashion of prophets by then. No, no, but but we were few. We were few prophets. Not like now when we have everyone who's a prophet. 
So from there, he said, there's a man here in Lagos. I said, man. He said, this man is a magician. If he paints you like this, you fall. If you want to punish you, you go there, maybe he spoke against you. You just, you just do like this, you hit the wall. Oh no, dear God. So I was listening, a magician is a yes. You know, I heard a voice that day. That voice said, He's telling you about my servant. The man you are hearing, I never heard about him. It was 2011. The man yeah, you is my servant. That man, you know, he was coming now, you know, he's scrolling, walking on the bed. And he was speaking that. So the moment he sat down, I told him, ah, that, I'm sorry, you, you say, Prophet who? He mentioned the name. I say, oh, Prophet oh, he's a servant of God. He said, no, you know nothing. We are Nigerians, we can tell you. I said, no, you know nothing. I said, hey, if it's like this, if we can hear God, we go by who's, the, who's what? I, I said, no. When I came back here, I broke him. I just took my starter pack, of the, my SIM card. I, I just SIM card. It. I said, I don't want to be connected with anyone. Because if I hear God say, this man is a man of God, Another one say he's a magician. I say, hey, no, I don't, this, this man is not my friend. So I drop friendship like boom. Like that. So from there, uh, when I reach here, one of a person also in Lagos, in the east side. Because I was on the west side where Prophet Tibu Joshua was. So I, that person invited me on the other side. So that's where I said, okay, I will come there. I went that side. But this, one, this one was in Ibu. He invited me, but I won't mention his name. So I told him that when I was there, I said, I, I came here last time. And I was told about Prophet Tibi Joshua that he's a magician, but God told me this. That man said, ah. Uh, so I asked him. In fact, I asked him before I reached there. I want to find if he's the same group. That other one, he said, no. Prophet Tibi Joshua is the man of God. Uh, uh, okay. All right, I said, let me go there. I went there to Nigeria. When I reached there, I told that man, can you take me there? I want to see his church. I went there. And then we drove on the road there. I mean, there's a lot of, I mean, beautiful building like that. We're taking pictures. I went to his church, preach, finish, come back. But the third time, my wife now, I've already told you about uh, TB Joshua, so it's church, but I don't know what is oh, happening. I've never watched him. So the same man now called me and invited me to Abuja. And I was invited to different places, Abuja, Anambra State. So I told my wife, uh, we need to go together. And then I want you to see what is Nigeria look like. Uh, we, we, went went there. There. we went there. And then when we were there, uh, that's where now we met Prophet Tibi Joshua. I don't forget when Prophet Tibi Joshua came and stood in front of me. So, so I saw a vision about. before of Jesus' face. So the way he stood, I saw uh, he came exactly the same way. But before all these issues of going there, I wanted to tell you. On 2013, I had people here in this church. Our prophet was there. There was a man that was recruiting people from the church. He wanted, to, he wanted to come out from the church with people. People were believing him so much. By then, that man was 
a doctor of, of, of I'm sure it's glass. I'm sure. when I was it glass? Yes. Yeah, he was doing glass. And then he was driving uh, his car, which was like four by four. Everybody, many people were poor. Many people were poor. It was 2013, so when a rich person began to say, everybody just agreed. They joined that person. So the moment I saw that, after I visited these people doing that, doing that, I said, no, I'm going to visit now Prophet Tibi Joshua. I need just to get away from these people and go and pray. Already, I saw them leaving the church. I saw them in number. They were sure that that day, even some people were playing organ, they wanted to leave the same day so that people were left they say, ah, what is that so happening? before they left, I went to Prophet Tibi Joshua's church. Prophet Tibi Joshua, I met Prophet Tibi Joshua. He prayed for me. You know, it's nice to be prayed for. I love to encourage people that you people here, you need to be prayed for. If you have your own pride, you don't want to be prayed for, what will happen? You will stay where you are. You know, that day, I could see, he prayed for me. I, you know, I love to fall. Because I know that when you are falling like this, you don't know what is happening. And God is waking. And then maybe if demon was in my ear, will come out and I, I won't hear it. So that day I could not fall. I was worried. I've been crying. I've been going everywhere. I wanted to fall. And I've never fallen down. But that day I was just saying, if Prophet Jeff pray for me and I fall down. Maybe there's a demon in my ear or my mouth will come out. I was very much excited when I met him uh, one on one. I was very much excited. Uh, I met him one on one. I met him one on one. I just found that this man looks like me. I, I was just having questions. But he prayed for me. I was excited. And then I believe that even if I didn't fall, Something has happened. When I moved out, that day, I, I don't want to lie to you, this thing happened to me. When I was moving out, I was with one brother, maybe I will bring him here. I will walk like this, but I will stop. When I stop, I said, I don't feel like it's me, I feel like it's that man. I, I said, no, man. Maybe I have to sit somewhere. I walk again. I say, can we stop? We stop. I say, no. Something is wrong here. Is I say, There's something I've received, but I don't feel it's me now. I feel like someone is walking, but it's him. You know, what the Holy Spirit does. I mean, you cannot understand. God works his own ways. Amen. In the night, it was Sunday. We the, it was the time. day we, I knew that the church is going to be left with people they recruited. Many people, in that night, in that night, uh, I was able, when I reached their home, my wife called me. I asked her, how was the service? She says, I was very surprised. We had overflow. You know, from that day, even today, I'm very blessed. There's no day, to be honest, that I found myself crying. Who left the church? Why leave the church? Why that? I don't have those questions. In fact, if you leave the church, you are giving me freedom because I, mean, I have to pray for you. So when you leave, I say thank you, Lord. Minus three problems. Minus three, but
And what happened was, I was free. Those people left, I mean, they left, but the new ones came, and the church was full. And there were people who were using tents. And the, outside there, Mama said, I was very surprised. It Mama has never happened. But not that those people well. left, but I'm shocked that, that the church had overflow. From the day I received that prayer from the man of God from that time, even today, even today, uh, so to be honest, today is his birthday. I said, there's nothing better I can do for him except to tell all of you here and me, we pray for him. Let us all stand. I want us to pray for him. If possible, I know Prophet is believed in giving. And that's what he wants us to do. Yeah, I mean, you want everybody to do. From that day, I always pray. I was told I must pray for him. And then I was told that also the things he's going through. I even said it here, I'll go through that. And it's what I'm going through now. I was told that I have to be accused, as he has been accused. I've been seeing that, oh, this, and I was told to pray for him. Today, I want to do it live here in the church where we have to pray for him. And because many of us, we are depending in his ministry and learning from him. I want you to kneel down and pray for the man of God. Can you just kneel down and pray? All of you, kneel down and pray. Can you pray for the ministry first that is upon his life? Prayer. Pray louder. Pray louder. Pray louder. Pray louder. Can you stand up? You begin to thank God for his life. Okay. Wherever you are, can you just clap your hands and thank God for his life? Thank you. Thank you, Father, for his life in the name of Jesus. Father, we know we are more than the conqueror when we pray. Father, thank you for your mercy in the name of Jesus we glorify you for his life in the name of Jesus Father no weapon fashion against them against him will prosper in Jesus mighty name Amen 
Amen. God bless you. Congratulations. God bless you. Amen. To me, that is a gift I want to give him for his birthday. Amen. After he has prayed for me, and I saw what I saw, until now, I've seen God more and more and more. And God is faithful. I mean, I have my calling, you have your calling. But considering the service of God, you pray for them. It works for you. I've been talking about uh, by the time when the building fall. I think I was the only one who was saying he's a servant of God because of the revelation. And some people were just speaking what they are speaking. It was accusation. Accusation, the message I'm giving you, was everywhere. And look now, God will never promote you unless you overpower that accusation. If you stick on it, you begin to worry what is happening with you, whatever. Look at him now. After that accusation, people are still going there. We're talking about, can you go there? Go there. Even prophet began to send people here for me to pray for them. By the time when the building was falling, due to the fact of what was happening, he stopped services there. And look now, no one can stop him. And I believe, as we have prayed for him, you have prayed for yourself in Jesus' name. God bless you.